Hey again out there. I hope you're as excited as I am to start pumping some more gases inside of there. As promised, we're going to talk about the effects of nitrogen and oxygen inside of the vacuum chamber. Today we're going to be exploring nitrogen specifically. We're going to take it one gas at a time because there is a lot to cover. There's all the different various pressures with the noble gases that we can explore that we've also been adding, so I'm going to be doing that as well. We're going to start off by just pumping some nitrogen into the vacuum chamber all by itself to see what happens. Alright, we're evacuated here. Gonna get my valves ready. And let in some nitrogen. Actually, I have nitrogen flowing, so now I'm gonna get it into my outside chamber. We add a very low pressure of nitrogen. Been slowly adding nitrogen. We're at about negative 27 Hg. So you can see how nitrogen, even at very low pressures in comparison to what the noble gases were, has a very diffuse discharge and doesn't form much of a filament. And if I were to keep uh, adding some here, definitely would get some extinguishing of our plasma. Just keeps getting smaller, basically. And she's out. Very pretty, though. That was pretty cool. We saw that the nitrogen formed some really nice colors, but didn't form a nice bright filament like the other noble gases did. And the discharge was fairly extinguished by our pressure of 26, negative 26 Hg. Although up until that point it had some fairly nice colors. We know that our atmosphere contains about 80% nitrogen roughly. And <clears throat> when you think about something like argon being used as a welding gas, it sort of makes sense that they're, they have an electrified plasma in their hand and they're using a stream of argon gas that conducts electricity fairly well and you know is used as a tool so that's pretty cool to know and now that we know that it looks so sweet we can start adding it to the noble gases as they discharge through the bottle we can use lower pressures of nitrogen to have those low pressure effects that it was working really nicely with. Alright, so I have somewhat of a low pressure of neon here, giving me a nice orange glow. Still go ahead just a little bit more. And this nice neon effect. Now, I have to evacuate the chamber make sure there's not no neon out there. Now I'll add a little bit of nitrogen here. <clears throat> to the main chamber. That was definitely pretty cool so far. We have like a little tendril up here. It disappeared. 
But now our filament looks like it's <laughs> what would have been a nice purple filament is now nice and orange. Let's try and add a little bit more of that, see if that will mix in a little bit more. There you go. Now we see the nitrogen almost kind of taking over. That's pretty cool. Wow, this is, I really like this. <clears throat> see if we can add a little more. Cowabunga. There's still obviously neon because the tips where my fingers are have that orange effect still. Very cool. So let's uh, see if we can still get some more out of that. Still going. Okay, we're equalized in there. <coughs> so with both those gases, we're at about negative, under negative 27. And it kind of looks like it's a mostly nitrogen plasma in there. We got rid of all that neon. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try and pump some more neon in there. Just have to clear out my secondary vacuum chamber. Now I'll go ahead and add some more neon here into the secondary. And now into the main. You definitely see it going in there. Start clearing that out. We're going to keep adding neon here. Definitely looks really cool when it goes in there. having some technical issues here. Okay, there's definitely some neon is starting to show up now. Having some technical issues here. Okay, now let's uh... I'm going to clear out the secondary and I'm going to start pumping out from this main. Start to remove some of this. Kind of fill it back up with neon again. Somewhat good there. All right. Now that we're here, I'm going to clear out the secondary chamber again. I'm going to add some more neon. I think we got all about the nitrogen we can handle in there. Let's 
So you can see as we're adding neon, the filament is definitely getting brighter. Huh. Kind of looks like feathers. And I didn't bake out this chamber, so there might be a little bit of moisture in there, but I don't... I think that is a nitrogen effect, though. Try and put some more of that neon in. Very cool. And just for practice, we'll throw on some nitrogen now. See what this will do. I don't really see much of an effect from that. Seemed like we reduced the pressure inside there, that was about it. Try it one more time. Oh, there we go. So now this discharge is kind of surrounding the outside of the bottle. It's only shooting up there. Alright, so I have a low pressure of argon in here. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. Kind of similar to where we had the neon. I guess. That's it, it's probably close. Getting a little bit of sweet filament activity and the diffuseness down the center. Evacuating the argon. I'm going to go ahead and try and drop a little bit of nitrogen in here. You know, a secondary. And that was handsome. Boy, did it show up. This comes in in style. Definitely looks like we have kind of like a nitrogen discharge in here right now. Where it all go? It looks like a, basically like a nitrogen. So we'll suck all that nitrogen out. I'm assuming it's a low pressure because it looks similar to the low pressure nitrogen that we had. We'll go ahead and try and balance that out with some uh, argon here. See what happens there. Go ahead and reduce some of this pressure. So we're about, we're getting close to 25. We saw that argon at about negative 25 has pretty sweet diffuse. I would say it's my favorite. <laughs> so we definitely have a lot of nitrogen up in here.
Negative 26. Okay, so that looks like a lot of nitrogen. Now we're getting a discharge through the bottle. So we'll call that. Clean out the secondary. So we're going to add in argon. We want to keep this discharge going. Definitely saw it go in there. This discharge is just consumed with the nitrogen. You can see the effects of it. It's almost replicating the same thing it did to the neon. So, that's pretty interesting because you can see, it just like uh, normal, it wants to form a nice, long, uh, you know, a brighter filament, unlike the uh, neon, which, uh, so it's still got that sweet, still seeing some of that sweet dendritic lightning, Lichtenberg figures, whatever those are. Try and add some more argon in there. Got some sort of sound going on, it's really bothering me. So we'll go ahead and start reducing pressures in there all together. Very nice and wiggly. Purple and gold for sure. In Lichtenberg. Kind of looks hairy. I think my vacuum pump actually needs a break. It's getting really, uh, really pumped out. There you go, got a nice 25 argon. We can definitely see the mixture of argon in there and the nitrogen for sure. So that's pretty cool here. Getting a lot of ozone smells. Let's see that nitrogen's making that crazy streaking. Getting some gold colors, very nice, because the nitrogen had some gold that it would exhibit by itself, it seemed. Just wait for the vacuum.
right, so I have a nice <clears throat> low pressure of Krypton here. Add a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to add some nitrogen. Go for a very low pressure. Definitely very cool. Go for a little bit more. Krypton always has these intense effects. This is a pretty cool plasma. Let's add a little bit more nitrogen. Very cool. Wow. It's a very low pressure of uh, Krypton. Seems like Krypton holds up better against the nitrogen unlike the other noble gases that seem to be completely consumed well then again they did kind of work together but it seems the purple color is diminished we we'll go ahead and clear that out I want to try adding uh, we kind of can guess what the effects of adding more nitrogen are going to be so I'm just going to add some krypton See, not much of a change here. Let's go ahead and try adding some more. That's pretty cool. Very nice. So you can see how it has that doping effect where this Krypton would have been normally really extremely bright. Now it's a nice gold color. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Just gonna add some more nitrogen for the sake of science. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Just a pinch. You stop the discharge from going up into the, well it seems like it's not going up there. 
Got these nice little tendrils right ending right up in here. This would seem to be a good pressure. So we're gonna put some old crit down in there. Too much balanced it out. So I think we're gonna go Krypton into high pressure here. Or the higher, you know, typically as we can go. Once I evacuate everything out of the secondary. Cool stuff. All right, now we'll evacuate this. Discharge will just float to the top if I don't interact with it. We're at negative twenty six and a half. Seeing kind of like a diffuse cloudy look, which I was seeing during the other evacuations as well. That must be because of the nitrogen. Krypton and nitrogen. Tiger stripes. I feel like I'm going on a journey. We took the noble gases at low pressures. We nearly dampened them with the nitrogen gas. We had really cool effects that we could see that were visual. But we saw that it didn't really want to conduct electricity like the noble gases. Maybe it's because the nitrogen gas is missing the valency by about three, I would say. It has five valence electron shells. And so maybe it absorbs some of the electrical energy that's being distributed throughout the plasma as opposed to just can helping conduct it like the noble gases might with their complete valency electron shell. The noble gases might act more like a conductor when they're electrified. It's very interesting to explore the different effects of the gases of our own atmosphere in, as a plasma. And I hope to continue to explore oxygen and of course <clears throat> other sorts of things like silicas and stuff like that.